Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial in this series of tutorial on React. In this video, we will learn to install Bootstrap in our React application and use it in our application. Bootstrap is one of the famous free and open source CSS framework which provides a lot of UI elements. It contains HTML, CSS and JavaScript based design templates for typography, forms, buttons, navigation and other interface components. There are a lot of UI components which we can add by using this bootstrap without writing much of CSS code. To install bootstrap in React application, we need to perform three steps. First one is we need to install bootstrap package in our React application. For that one, you can use the command npm install react bootstrap space bootstrap. The second step is we need to import bootstrap CSS in our app.js file that is the main file. And the third step is we need to use bootstrap components such as button, table, grid system or any component which you want to use in your application. You need to go to that particular react component and you need to add bootstrap component in our react. So let's see all these in practical how we can achieve this one. For that one, first let me open code editor. Here I have already one React application. In this application, open the terminal window. As we know, first step is we need to install bootstrap for that one. Add npm install react hyphen bootstrap space bootstrap. Then press enter. Now you can see bootstrap is installed in our application. The second step is we need to import bootstrap CSS in our app.js main component file. If you look for bootstrap CSS file, it is installed in our node modules folder. When you open that one and go to bootstrap folder and within this bootstrap folder, you can see there is a folder by name distribution that is dist and within this one there is another folder by name CSS and within this one we have all the CSS files and currently as a basic one we need to import bootstrap.minimum.css file to import that one let me add code here import as we know it is under node modules and within that one bootstrap then distribution and within that one CSS and within that one we have bootstrap.minimum.css by adding that one we are done with our second step and the third step is we need to use the bootstrap code wherever it is required for that one I have created a separate module in our application so let me collapse this one and you can observe in the components folder I have created one bootstrap component.js file and I have added this one in our main component that is app.js file. If you are not aware of how to create a functional component, you can refer one of my video where I have clearly explained all the steps to create a component and adding it to main component. I have provided the link for that video in the description below as well. So before proceeding with the third step that is adding bootstrap component, let's save all the files and preview this one in browser. You can observe our functional component which is added in app.js file successfully. Now go back to code editor and navigate to bootstrap component and here we will add one simple button and I will name this one as save. Save this component and go back to browser again to preview this one before applying bootstrap CSS classes. You can observe there is one simple button which is added in our application now. But there is no styling for that button here. To add styling to this one, we are going to use bootstrap here. So let's go back to our component. Let's apply some bootstrap class to this button. To add class, we need to use keyword class name. So in this button open tag, we can add class name. And for a button, we have a predefined classes in bootstrap by name button. Then we have another class by name button hyphen success. This is a class name defined in the bootstrap for success button. 
So let's save the file and go back to browser to preview it. Now you can observe button added in the component is with green color and with some style as compared to the earlier button. So we have successfully installed Bootstrap in our React application and then we have applied its styling to one of our button here. That's it guys for this video. In the next videos we'll see some more real time examples. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.